OpenAI just released this chat GPT chatbot thing that I initially thought was something mediocre because we have enough chatbots as it is, but after playing with it for some while, did I change my mind? Oh boy. For instance, let's say that uh, I'm a programmer that wants uh, this thing to write a merge sort function in C++. Not the hardest thing to do, and for those of you not programmatically inclined, don't worry, this is just something that, well, competitive programmers maybe do in school, just doesn't matter what this is really. What I want to emphasize here is that this thing remembers context better than any other AI that I used. Under the hood it has GPT-3, of course, and you can do many other tasks for it, not just programming, but for now, well, it finished writing the function, and now to demonstrate how well it handles context, let's ask it to write a test module for it. By the way, a very weird thing, uh, whenever I ask it to, uh, it's uh, like the eighth time that I ask it to do it, and it does it differently every single time, and it seems, everything seems to be working every single time, at least for me taking a very quick look at this code. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Let's see what it does here, just for me to check, because I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, this one, this one's fine. So basically something to sort an array, and it even provides the commands to run the, this thing. Insane. Um, let's, um, let's ask it to convert this to what other language can it well python it obviously knows but let's try r they have no idea how to how to do any of that thing in r but apparently it does and it just gives you a glimpse into the sorts of things that it can do um, by the way it has codecs the openai codex under the hood but i'm not sure how well trained this model is compared to codex as for for pure programmatic tasks of course easier to use codex but it seems to be doing just fine from what i can see okay let's try something else now mm -hmm. uh, i tried asking it before by the way you have to reset the threads here otherwise it's sometimes trying to keep the previous thread which is not always what you want so here are some examples uh, what you can ask it to do explain quantum computing mm, i asked it to provide uh, yeah provide the telegrapher oh, can type today equations in LaTeX. i think t is also capitalized something from electromagnetics whoa not bad it not always um highlights the code like this, sometimes it just doesn't, and you can, uh, since this thing remembers context, you can ask it to simulate it, let's try first Python first and then C++ in Python, I'm just curious, and this thing, as I understand, is going to stay free as long as it is in the research preview phase, no idea how long it's gonna stay that way, maybe a month, maybe two, under favorable conditions, as they say. Uh, but for now, all you need to use this is just to register on the OpenAI website. And the same thing as you need to do for using Dali 2 and other AIs, but in general, this is free and they are not for now. It will also provide some of this nice stuff. Okay, let's uh, simulate it in C++. Just from my understanding, if it has no trouble doing it like this at all, I just... I'm afraid to even begin to fathom what it can do otherwise. I, if this has been just released for less than an hour, I think, and I'm already having way too much fun with it. It can rhyme, it can write rap, it can write lyrics, uh, what else? Uh, sometimes not as successfully, but... Uh, still enough to keep me entertained for quite some time. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. 
just go ahead and try it for yourself while it's free. Have fun using it, let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all the AI stuff. And till later.